Hey guys, uh, back on the road today. Um, we've got about a five and a bit hour drive ahead of us. So uh, today's uh, family trip is actually organized by Kate here. I haven't had much to do with this one at all. So <laughs> I'll let Kate give you a bit of an overview of, of where we're going. Um, but yeah, looking forward to it. Um, we're heading south, um, which will be really nice. Um, hopefully some cooler weather. It's, it is quite warm here in, in Perth today, but yeah, I'll let Kate uh, give you the details. So we're going to a place uh, that's on Hit Camp called Coastal Rural Camping. Uh, so it's sort of near Denmark and Albany, basically. Uh, so it's not far to either. Uh, so it's not a place we've been to before. We thought we'd uh, do something a little bit different. Um, and there's some full drive tracks as well that we want to check out. We do have the drone as well uh, to hopefully check out some of those really cool places. There's elephant rocks and there's some really cool full drive beaches and things like that as well. So yeah, keep you posted. Um, I know a few of you in the comments on my recent video were saying, you know, uh, you'd like me to check out some new places. And um, yeah, so this is one that's new to the list for us, which will be, which will be good. Uh, we've heard that there's you know, beautiful spots down near Albany and Denmark and some great four-wheel driving. So uh, we'll do a bit of research when we arrive and, and, and explore a few different locations. Um, but yeah, as Kate said, it's a, a hip, another hip camp location for us. So it's a bit of a theme here, but- I think it's um, one's farm or like land. Yeah, yeah, yeah we, we do think that is, yeah, a bit of a farm or something. So that'll be nice. This will be the longest time towing uh, with, with the caravan as well. Uh, so it'll be a bit of a test to see um, how the Ranger holds up and um, keep an eye on fuel economy, but um, those of you that watched the last video would know we added a long-range fuel tank, so um, we don't have that fuel anxiety like we've had in previous trips. So uh, yeah, looking forward to a few days, and um, we'll, we'll, we'll explore and show you guys some great locations. Yeah, stuck in a bit of uh, freeway traffic, uh, which is slowing things down a little bit, but uh, once we get out of, out of town, it's always a, a nice drive down south. Quick food stop on the way down. We're pretty stoked, aren't we? Because uh, we love Zambreros, and yeah, there's actually safe. yeah, there's actually an ampole down here now that's opened uh, Zambreros. So we've been able to have some lunch on the way down. Yeah. About an hour into the drive now, so we've got about four and a bit hours ahead. Uh, pretty warm day today. What 30, 33, 34 degrees, something like that. So yeah, it's a pretty warm one, but uh, we're tucked away in our aircon, which is nice. Quickly, uh, just giving you a bit more details on this site that we're going to. Uh, so you have to be completely self-sustained. Um, so you do need to have, you know, toilet showers, all that sort of thing. Pets are allowed apparently, but they do need to be on a lead. Uh, so it does take tents or RV. Uh, there's 20 sites. Um, it says two WD accessible. Um, generators are allowed as well, caravans, camper trailers, uh, camper vans and cars. So just a bit more sort of information there, you know, if, if you like the look of that place. Wound our way onto uh, Albany Highway now, so we have a straight run from here. I think uh, we took a bit of a detour, <laughs> but um, the scenic, scenic detour, but I think it saved us a bit of time. We're just in Cogen up now. Uh, we don't need to fill up, but we're just going to top up the tanks, and I'll let you guys know how the fuel economy is going on the way down here as well. So in the distance over there are the Stirling Ranges. Um, for those of you that are new to the channel, we actually did a video there back in 2021 with our Jayco Dove at the time, our camper trailer. So if you want to check that out, I'll pop a link above. It's a great little spot. Um, and we tied that trip in with uh, Esperance, which, which is really great. So um, yeah, and that video is also there if you want to have a look. Uh, but yeah, beautiful part of, uh, of the WA. All right, this is it. Oh. So we're finally here. Almost. A bit of driving today. Wow. Yeah, a bit of driving. It was five hours. Think Google took us on a crazy way here. But, scenic um, way. Mm, but it was very scenic though. We think it was quicker, but it just seemed like a long drive. That looks good. So cute, thick black and white. Are we ready, Bogs? Get out of 
<laughs> right, it's a bit boggy. Hey guys, who arrived? Izzy? What are you guys up to? Doing a bit of setup? So we've arrived. Um, beautiful little spot. Uh, it was a bit of fun actually getting to this, getting to the location that we're in today. Um, there was some quite boggy sand as we were trying to get the van. Uh, van in, I actually had to go into four low and also the rear diff lock to actually get through because I tried in four high and it was just getting bogged down. So a um, bit of power in four low and it was all good. So, um, but we found a beautiful little spot here all to ourselves, um, overlooking a, a little dam. So um, yeah, it looks like a great spot to spend um, a few nights here and um, explore the surrounds of uh, Denmark and Albany. So we're trying out a, a new product today. We picked up some Austrail screw-in temp pegs. Um, the reason for it is We've been on a couple of trips recently and the ground has been so hard that we've absolutely struggled either to get them in or to remove them. So I'm going to give these a go and basically they just connect up to your drill and you drill them straight into the ground uh, one way and you drill them out the other way. So uh, it's a great um, little tool here. We actually saw them in action when we were up in um, Exmouth um, last year. So um, they've been on the list. So first time to, to get them out and, and give them a go. Yep, so the uh, kit comes with a little drill bit like this, um, which you can just put straight in, in your drill set. And then, as simple as um, just popping it in, and um, that'll, that'll screw around. So Put it on your mat. Uh, we're we're going to give it a go. Which one are you going to do first? We'll do the, Mark, why don't we do the corner one here first, Matt? And then, um, alright. Not that noisy, is it? It's not that noisy, is it? That's it. How easy is that? That's really it. Brilliant. All right, it's definitely going to save a bit of time. of an issue tonight um, the switch that we've got for the fridge is also the same switch for the toilet and we got to camp and the toilet basically water canister was completely empty and I know I filled it before the trip and managed to put a bit of water back in it and it was just spewing water through so the, there's obviously an issue with the pump um, so just doing a bit of exploratory action at the moment to see um, what's going on um, doesn't appear to be any switch I can just sort of isolate and turn it off so um, I'm not too technically minded when it comes to electrical stuff so just trying to problem solve but um, yeah not not the best way you want to arrive to camp having to, to sort that but um, you know th these things happen so um, yeah I'm going to change the fuse and see if that fixes it but um, otherwise um, either both the fridge and the toilet will be out of action or hopefully I can isolate this and we can still use our fridge so yeah we'll see how we go so I've just taken this fuse out from behind there and this is no longer working so at least our fridge is in action um, the actual fuse itself appears to, to be in good shape so I don't know if that's the issue um, but I'll see if I've got a spare to change it over anyway I do actually have um, some spare blade fuses here, so let me grab one of these little guys and we'll see if, uh, if that works. So I've just uh, popped in the fuse here, that's the new one. Um, I'll put the canister back in and we'll see how we go. So as you can see here on the rocker panel here, the toilet and fridge are on the same switch, so which is a bit of an issue with our toilet not working. Um, it, uh, it means that our 
fridge is out of order as well. So I'm gonna hit this switch. Um, now when I did it before, the toilet was just basically just going non-stop. Um, so it just drained the whole water container. Uh, we put a little bit of water back in it, but um, yeah, that's the switch to the side, the Thetford switch, uh, which normally turns it on and off. So we'll see if this has fixed it or not. No, okay. All right, so yeah, faulty toilet, I think. So probably what I'll do is I'll just pull the fuse. Yeah, so a bit of an update. Um, I pulled the fuse and I've basically just you know, cut the power to uh, the, the toilet at the moment. So um, that's gonna be out of action for this trip, but at least our fridge is operating. So um, we were just chatting, um, Kate just next to me as well, but we're thinking probably just having the fridge and the toilet on a different switch. So there is a spare in there that potentially we can do that as well. So if this issue, issue happens again, then we're not cutting both appliances out. So, um, but yeah, a little bit frustrating. Um, that it's definitely our toilet. a lesson learned though, isn't Yeah, it, it is it's a lesson learned. Um, could be worse so we could be somewhere really remote so that's a good lesson um and you know to know how to sort of problem solve and, and what have you but one thing i could say is the uh manuals are absolutely useless there's absolutely nothing in there we read the thetford uh, manual and we also read the mdc manual and there was nothing about what to do if you know the, it was the... basic troubleshooting yeah very very basic troubleshooting <laughs> so yeah not much at all so anyway uh live and learn so um yeah uh, on to tomorrow Hey guys, it's the next morning. Um, we're going to do a bit of exploration today. Uh, last night didn't go exactly to plan, so um, <laughs> we're going to kind of reset and uh, do a bit of a celebratory day for, for Kate and I's uh, anniversary, which would be nice. Um, yeah, we're going to check out Denmark, and there's actually no reception here, so we'll pla our plan originally, we thought we might get some reception, was to do a bit of research and then work out a plan, but because um, this is all kind of ad hoc I guess what we're doing yeah. which which is good um, and the way we, we like it but um, yeah so the plan is we'll go into Denmark get some reception work out a bit of a plan um, we've actually got four nights here so three more to go so plenty of time to explore um, I would say Albany's probably on the list as well at some yeah. point it's not too far so yeah we'll, we'll share um, what we're gonna do um, it is renowned for some great um, off-road and beach locations as well and the kids are pretty keen to check out a beach so I'm sure that will be um, on the list we found a nice little coffee shop haven't we yeah called Raven's coffee so uh, we're using this as a bit of a base to do some uh, checking out of locations now we're in some reception so um, <laughs> we're gonna hit the uh, National Park we've decided so um, apparently that's a beautiful location sort of just north of yeah, it's William Bay National Park William Bay National Park yeah, it's actually yeah. not north is it it's um, yeah. west up of yeah. where we are So we're just on our way to the Williams Bay National Park. So Kate's had a bit of a look and identified a few beaches we're pretty keen to, to check out. We're just commenting how beautiful the drive is down. It's very windy and these massive trees everywhere. So it's really nice. And the cottages upon the hills. Yeah, it kind of reminds us a little bit of sort of Margaret River, uh, yeah, Caves Road, but it's, yeah, it's really windy and the countryside's amazing. So we haven't done a lot down here. So I think it's probably been over 10 years since Kate and I've been down here. Wow, this is beautiful. Look at this, Max. That's amazing, isn't it?
just doing a bit of an update inside the car. We've just explored some of the bays, but it's the windiest day in, in the world. It's, it's we look crazy. A bit windswept. Yeah, it's so <laughs> windy. It's so windy. So we're just hiding in the car for a minute, but beautiful. We just um, stopped off at what was the bay we stopped off at? Uh, this one was Madfish yeah, Bay. Yeah, this is Madfish, but where we went for a yeah, swim. Yeah, it's, it's very, very pretty, mm. may I add. It's worth the, the crazy wind. But we went for a swim at Greens Pool, which is great. It's um, sort of like a, an inlet, so you don't have the, the crazy waves that you've got here. So great for kids and adults. That's yeah, nice. it's yeah. really good. But a bit more um, protected from the from the weather yeah, and the wind there. So that was yeah, that was very nice. scenic as well with all the rocks. It was really yeah. pretty, wasn't it? And also, it's good for paddling and just yeah. standing. Oh, snorkeling, people were snorkeling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Those fish. Those tadpoles. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Cheers. Hello. So where are we, mate? At the dam. The dam, yeah. So it's a beautiful restaurant here, isn't it? Yeah. Outside of Denmark. So we're doing this to celebrate our wedding anniversary. Yep. That yeah. was yes. Um, yeah, it was, yeah, it, it was yesterday. Yes. But um, the problem that happened. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> so it didn't go so well. well. It's a pretty cool park, though, for the kids to play. It is. Yeah. Beautiful spot, isn't it? Yeah, so we just thought we'd take the time to kind of reflect on the last 12 months. It's actually uh, pretty much 12 months to the day that we purchased the, uh, the MDC uh, Forbes 15 Plus. So um, prior to that, um, viewers would know we had a Jayco Dove um, that, that we owned for a year and a half or so Something but, like but that, before yeah. that and it was sort of camping in a tent really before that so we thought we'd just take the time to kind of reflect on the last year and Kate and I were just chatting that you know it's interesting we probably are traveling more uh, with the, with the yeah. uh, hybrid caravan than we were with the Jayco. We try and do it once a month don't we at least yeah. around work and stuff. Yeah probably once a month and yeah. I think it's encouraged us to to go out more um, because you know, we can kind of leave it stocked up with clothes and utilities and things. It's kind of only really the water and the, the, the fresh food and yeah. things like that that we need to kind of regularly top up. But yeah, um, yeah it's definitely encouraged us to, to do this more. So um, yeah, I mean, obviously probably highlights, I guess, for, for, for you, Kate, what would you say? Oh, definitely that X-Mouth trip. That was pretty, pretty epic. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's probably the furthest we've been yeah. uh, w with the van. And um, yeah, that was that was a great trip. Um, I think probably we could have had easily had another week, couldn't we, mate? Yeah. yeah. Sort of. Yeah, I felt some of the locations sort of felt a bit rushed, like mm. Three Mile Camp. Um, it was I think was it three nights? Three nights. Yeah, three yeah. nights, and we that was just night, didn't we? amazing spot. Um, yeah. We've actually rebooked, but hopefully we can get the time and make that work. But that was just just amazing. Yeah. Um, uh, what did we stay at Calvary for? Cat Barry was only a couple of nights, yeah. So that was yeah. nice that was nice. Barry. It was. It was. Yeah. yeah. Stay there again. And we we haven't done uh, Esperance or um, Sterling Rangers, but we yeah, since since, we've had, since we had the van, but we yeah. did obviously in the Jayco, and we have talked about it. But I think I want to go back there though in this van. Yeah. You know that would be pretty cool. Yeah. 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 We just, I mean, we we tend to be drawn a lot to the south of of WA. I think just mm. the yeah, the lifestyle and the weather is generally a bit cooler than Perth, which in summer yeah. is nice. Um, but you know, you can't really beat the, uh, you know, the beaches and the scenery of north. Mm. It's just you know quite amazing. Yeah. Um, it is cold, which is why I'm in my hoodie, <laughs> looking like a dag. Whatever. You just wear that all the time. <laughs> <laughs> but it's nice. It's refreshing. Yeah. I'm wearing mine as well. Yeah. Yeah. So, but how do we feel after 12 months with our, our Forbes 15? Pretty good, right? We're pretty stoked with it. Yeah, I mean, it's been good. It's the first time we've owned a caravan, so you know, we, yeah. we, we, we to, to be honest, um, you know, if you follow um, Cam and Tiff from Wild Touring, yeah. um, they were actually a big influence on us getting this van. Mm. We watched a lot of their big trip around WA, and they had the 13 plus, yeah, and yeah, we we just thought it was um it seemed great and and um at the time we were somewhat limited with the Pajero um with what we could actually tow so <laughs> obviously we've changed cars now but I think it, 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 it actually, actually really works limited, are we? 
we? No, yeah, we're not. We're not. But it, but it works well. The the only thing I guess not criticisms, but just things that we might tweak is is water. Um, we've got a 120 litre water tank in there, and on the front there's two jerry can holders, which is you know an extra 40 litres. But we mm. for bigger trips, you know, we we are watching our water. Um, we have to have quick showers and things. So potentially we might put in a secondary water tank. Yeah, we can be off-grid for longer then as well, yeah. can't we? Yeah. That would just give us a bit more flexibility. I know yeah. some people like Cam and Tiff, when they had their 13 plus, they actually converted the grey water tank to fresh and that obviously gave them extra capacity. But mm. I think I'd like to keep the grey water. Um, that, that tends to work. Yeah, good good for yeah. us. We'll see. Um, but yeah. Uh, yeah, no, it's it's, it's been great. Um, I mean, it's minor stuff. I mean... <laughs> Obviously, we had the issue with the uh, with the with the toilet uh, yesterday. That's I know, the on our wedding anniversary. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll... <laughs> it's not the wedding anniversary evening we'd planned, yeah. but these things happen. I know, I know. <laughs> but look, it actually it, it's only the flushing that that was the issue. So I yeah. mean, we can still you know use the toilet and just kind of wash it with some water. It's not yeah. ideal, but grab a cup and put water in. <laughs> and yeah. and Dad, yeah. there's a bug on your chair. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, like but other than that, it's yeah, yeah it's, it's nothing. I can't really think of anything in particular that I'm like, you know, I'm not I'm not happy with. Um, I guess maybe it's just nitpicking, but you know, on the Forbes you do get an electric awning. Um, they're probably not quite as resilient as some of the manual ones that you wind in mm. in really uh, windy conditions. So uh, we've got a couple of sort of straps that we tie onto the the main legs here, and, and that tends to hold it down yeah. in wet weather. But but it is very very convenient. You press a button and that thing opens. So, yeah, so, it's so that's easy. good. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're loving this little spot. It's very quiet. Um, there's only one other group here, and they're well away from us. So we're sitting um, there uh, looking at the sunset at the moment. So yeah, it's yeah. quite nice. Sun's going down Can over you the show dam. Them? Yeah, I will. Yeah, the sun's going down over the dam, and we're just sitting here with a drink. We're um, pretending so. it's our wedding anniversary <laughs> today instead. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So we went to. The, the, dam. Da the dam, yeah, dam. Of, all, of all places, yeah. yeah. Um, we, we had a recommendation uh, for that, and it was really nice. It was quite fancy. Um, yeah. So it's kind of like tapas style. We had a few things to yeah, share, nice. which was nice. Um, yeah. yeah. Had a cocktail as well. Yeah. Um, yeah. And the kids did the national park. We did the beach and had a bit of a swim around. So, so it was it was really nice. Yeah, the nice day. Was, the wind is hectic. The wind was yeah, crazy. Some yeah. of the places we actually left. Um, the, I can't remember what the place was called now. <laughs> But we left yeah, the there bays, thinking, yeah. oh, you know, maybe we'll check out the other ones. And it was just like no, gale, gale force gale winds. Force it was wind. crazy. Our hats were blowing everywhere. Yeah, no, it was. <laughs> we had to retreat, nuts. didn't we? It was nuts. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no, very, very pretty though. Yeah, so I think tomorrow it might be Albany. Um, so we've sort of done mainly Denmark today and a few yeah. of the surrounds. And uh, it's only, we're about 30 kilometres from where we are now to, to Albany. So not too far. Yeah. Um, and there's some really good full driving locations around there yeah, um, as well. So, yeah. Okay, we're just uh, leaving camp for the morning and we're going to uh, check out uh, Albany. So, um, yeah. Kate's done a bit of research and we found a few locations including the National Park so we might try a few off-road off locations today and um, it's a little bit overcast today but the weather looks like it's going to be holding, holding off. Chains Beach, it's super windy. We've just pulled up and uh, the kids are just having a bit of a play in the sand, but I don't think we'll be able to stay here too long. It is crazy windy. I've actually had to position the car facing away from the beach just um, to block it off a little bit with uh, a bit of a quick stop I had, which is um, like a little tarp. There's Max at the front. We obviously don't have any awning on the car yet on this one and still deciding what we want to do, uh, but yeah, it is a beautiful beach. 
just very, very, very windy today. Okay, there's a bit of a four drive area here, which is a lookout and takes you around to Back Beach as well. So we'll have a bit of a look. made our way up a track which uh, if you're on uh, Chains Beach this is to the right hand side on the cliffs and it's a stunning little drive that takes you through bush and scrubland and overlooking um, some dr quite dramatic uh, hill cliffs which is which is really awesome so yeah we've just stopped at a, a lookout and having a having a look around it's yeah stunning so we're gonna keep going around and, and see what's around the corner So first uh, bogging in the Ranger, as you can see, it's got very, very soft all of a sudden. So uh, you're going to drop tire pressures even more now and hopefully we should be able to get out. So what's the problem here? Uh, it got quite soft all of a sudden, so... <laughs> this is my fault. The, not quite to the shaft either. This is my fault, isn't it? Why is it your fault? Because I wanted to go to Back Beach. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's all good. It's gone from, um, I kind of left, to be honest, the, the tyres are almost highway pressures coming up to this point because it's like absolutely rock hard and we've just been crawling. And then just all of a sudden it's just gone to like this really soft kind of silky sand. So um, yeah. it's just gone straight down. So I've just dropped the pressures with the storms and uh, we'll reverse. Should be able to get out. No worries. What's wrong here, Max? Oh dear. <laughs> so, how bogged are we, Mark? Uh, I didn't think we were that bogged, but we're actually um, kind of almost down to the chassis on the front, so... Is that bad? Uh, yeah, the back's a little bit high, but the front, we're, we're right into the bash plate, so... Oh dear. Right. I might actually have to put the uh, match tracks in to get us out. So I've uh, dug the wheels out, a little bit puffed now, but I'll just show you how boggy we're at the front. Like basically the front bash plate is right to the um, to the sand, so to the not to the quite to the chassis at the back, but definitely at the front. So um, I'll show you. So it was a fair bit of digging just to make sure the match tracks have something to sort of to bind onto. But just check this out. So you can see there uh, the. The, the four millimeter bash plate there at the front is literally right on the sand so maybe a justification there for a lift who knows um, but uh, yeah hopefully we can get it out now that wasn't uh, too bad in the end uh, nice and steady um, I was in four low and I put the rear diff lock on as well So just to make sure I gave myself the best chance of uh, getting out of there on the first try so um, Yeah, it definitely pays to have two sets of max tracks. So I've got um, Some no brand ones, but I've got two of the uh, max tracks as well So yeah, just it, if you do it once do it right then you're most likely to get out in uh, when you find yourself in that situation so um, Days are the days sort of disappearing now. So we might have to call that a day today, but um, you know we've still got a, a few other locations we're, we're keen to check out. So that was on our way down to a place called uh, Back, Back Beach. Yeah, Back Beach. Um, I just did a bit of a walk ahead of getting the car um, out of the being bogged, and it is very steep. So we've just made the call because it's getting quite late here in the day, um, and it's just ourselves uh, that we might try this one next time we're down this area, and ideally with another car. But you know the issue I'm finding is just clearance. So um, I've got the bigger tyres, but it's I'm on running standard suspension, and it was just you could see it getting hung up a little bit. Um, the other issue is you know momentum needed to get up the hill. You know if we do get bogged, you know we're going to be, be spending um, potentially a few more hours trying to get back up. So we will we will do a bit more exploring now, but we think we'll just take another route and uh, and go around. But 
yeah, it's a beautiful spot. There's all sorts of bays and, and beaches around here, so it's really cool. Um, mm. But yeah, it's just quite unusual that it just got to this point where it was nice and firm, and then it just went soft all of a, all sudden. Of a sudden. So it totally caught us off guard, and I wasn't, I didn't have enough momentum as well, which is pr probably part of it. But um, to get out, I just dropped the tire pressures straight down to 12 psi, so I wasn't messing around. I didn't want to be there digging for another 30 minutes or so. So we got bogged good though, didn't we? <laughs> yeah, it was a, it was a good boggy. So um, yeah, all right off to the next location. stop in um, Albany for some uh, for dinner. Yeah, so that sort of wraps up today. We've just headed into Albany for a bite to eat. Um, so those tracks are around the uh, Wei Chin Up uh, National Park. So I hope I pronounced that correctly. Wei Chin Up. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Wei <Chinacup>. Yes. <laughs> National Park. Yeah, so that, that was great. There's some beautiful tracks around there. So, you know, give yourself a full day if you want to do some exploring and we could easily go back and, and do it all again and probably find some new tracks. So, um, I think I'd prefer to go with someone else would be sort of ideal. There's a bit of a redundancy if we do get bogged and things. Um, definitely some of the, the tougher uh, tracks um, as well. But no, we've had a good day and now I'm going to head our way back to camp and um, see what tomorrow ha has in store. So what's going on, Mark? <laughs> There's stuff everywhere. I know. After a day of four-wheel driving, after a day of four-wheel driving, you tend to just kind of shove stuff in. And we've had recovery gear out with having to get the car out. So um, now trying to put it all back together. For I know. It's the fun part, isn't it? <laughs> That's the beauty of having a, of a ute, though. Um, it's showing how much space you have. You know, obviously, with the Pajero, we, we wouldn't be able to do this before. So. Yeah, we've got that's boys cool. And we've got kids' toys and you know, shovels and spades and my recovery gear and pop up little umbrellas for the beach. So it's yeah, yeah no, it's cool. All sorts of stuff. So now to uh, put it back into some sort of shape. <laughs> that's a bit more civilized now. Those of you with utes, I would love to know how you keep your tray organized for trips like this. So do you put dividers in? You know, what, what do you run? Because um, I'm finding stuff's getting everywhere. So um, one good thing is we're actually going to be installing the ARB uh, compressor in the side of, of the tray. So um, that's a mod that's coming. So that will free up a little bit of space. But yeah, I would like to know from you, what do you actually use? You know, like have you got dividers to break up sections or things like that? Um, I'd be open to tips because, um, yeah, I do find it gets a bit chaotic in here after a day out. So, yeah, drop, drop some comments below and let me know. So, Izzy, tell us about the storm last night, Izzy and Max. Um, it was quite bad. <laughs> it was crazy. Like we all, me and Daddy went to sleep at like 11 or something. Yeah. Yeah, we, uh, me and my dad went outside to try to catch pictures of the light. Yeah, early on, yeah, when it was, you know, probably like, distance, yeah, yeah, 30 kilometers plus away, we, we, we got a couple of photos, but we had an absolutely wild night. Like, that's probably up there with the top sort of lightning storms I've ever experienced. It went all night. It, it did, it literally yeah, and went. you just finished at what, 8.30, 9 o'clock? No, not even. Um, it's 11 o'clock now and the thunder was still going in the distance and by the about, morning. yeah, about 30 minutes ago. Finished about like 10 something. Yeah, so we've kind of lost a bit of momentum today. We were thinking we might do um, maybe another four-wheel drive location today, but 
it's sort of, you know, almost, almost getting towards lunchtime now, so we're, we're sort of debating what to do, but that's okay, we'll probably just head into town and, and uh, sort of look at some options, but um, yeah, that was absolutely wild. Um, the van held up, which is which is good, we're a bit worried, we had the awning up as well, strapped down, and it was wild. Well, we already had it, it strapped wild. down pretty well, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. we did. We wake oh. up quite a few times going, oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> It was banging around, wasn't it? So we'll probably need a few coffees today because that was <laughs> we didn't get much sleep. But um, no, it was <laughs> good test for the van. But yeah, it was crazy, mm. and it came out of nowhere because yesterday was a nice, warm day. As you would have seen, it was windy, but we did a few beaches, and it was lovely. Yeah. And then it just came in, and it was just wild. Yeah, so. it was about like eight, eight o'clock mm. or something last night, just out of nowhere. And we're crazy. like, what the? And we've got no reception here, so we couldn't even check. Like even Mark on Telstra, no, couldn't even no. check how long that's going to hang around for and we're like do we get home today you know a day early just all these questions going through our head yeah nuts <clears throat> <laughs> all right well uh, we'll see what we can do today we've got mm -hmm. some friendly neighbors as well some roos six of them yeah oh no retreat retreat <laughs> okay this is the tour de rup national park Tour de Europe. Tour de Europe. <laughs> I'm terrible at these names. <laughs> yeah, this one here apparently is called The Gap. So we've gone to Albany today for a bit of a day trip. The weather's now normal. Norm normal, yeah. <laughs> it's a bit, of, a bit of cloud cover, but it's um, we've got some blue sky coming through, which is which is great. It's so the, raining before. Yeah, the th thunderstorm has subsided, and uh, we're going to do a bit of exploring. I'm starting with Albany and then the plan is we'll do a few places here and then head back to Denmark and then have an have explore around that area as well. So still we've got a full day ahead of us today. We, we head back to Perth tomorrow, um, but yeah, starting here. Check this view out behind me. Stunning down here. Bit of a little um, few steps down to the water edge. For those of you that are keen, but you do need to be careful. Um, it is quite windy, and um, you know you, you could get yourself in trouble if um, you pick the wrong time of day. But yeah, it's beautiful down here. Where are we, Max? At the blowhole. Yeah, it's a bit of a walk down, isn't it? Yeah. Let's see if it's blowing today, hey? So we're at the blowholes, but there's no blowing at the moment, so it's a bit of a walk down to get here, so that's a bit of a shame, but it is a nice location. Kate's in uh, photography heaven, taking a few photos. Definitely a good workout going back up. We're just on uh, Shelley Beach Road at the moment. It's nicer again. Yeah. Wow, what a view to come down to. Amazing. It's pretty nice down here. Oh, wow.
So we decided to pull up stumps today. The, the day is sort of getting away from us. Um, the kids had a, a bit of time in the water down at Shelley Beach. And um, I think this is definitely somewhere I want to bring Brett and the boys down because there's just four wheel drive tracks um, going everywhere. Um, this is also the infamous uh, Bornholm Beach is located as well. So, um, and apparently it's notorious for being one of the hardest, if not the hardest uh, tracks to get to or out of in Australia. So um, that could be fun. Um, and there's a heap of, heap of other bays and, and beaches around here that are four wheel drive accessible. So uh, we've just, as I said, we've run out of time today. We, we lost half the day with the thunderstorm this morning. So it was about lunchtime before we actually got out and we've done Albany, etc. cetera. So, um, but yeah, definitely on the list for me to, to come back and, and, and explore. Um, yeah, can't wait to do that. But yeah, this is, this is stunning, the beaches and, and all the bays. So you guys have had a good time, haven't you? Yeah. So we're just leaving camp now. How are we guys? It's quite a warm morning actually. So after all that wild weather the other night, um, we had a, a nice night and uh, a nice warm morning. So it's a shame really, because this would have been perfect weather to uh, do some four wheel driving and, and some beach. But um, yeah, that was the only downside of this trip. We lost so much of yesterday with the weather, it kind of limited what we could do, but um, we still got out there and, and had a look and had a great time. So um, yeah, so this location, um, yeah, it, it was beautiful, it was quiet, so we, we had a great spot overlooking the dam. Um, there are other spots around the corner as well which don't overlook the dam, so um, if you do choose to book, you can just have a chat with the owners and, and um, they can give you some options, but um, we found it a, a good spot because uh, it's about, I would say, 15 k's to Denmark um, and just over 30 k's to Albany, so you're kind of in... You've got both options. Yeah, you've got both yeah. options. You could do, you know, a full drive day or, you know, a day trip in, in Albany and you can also go down to, to Denmark and we did that. We went for lunch one day and had a bit of a look around. So, mm. yeah, this, this is great. I think there's a few things that we've noted for future trips that we'd like to do and, you know, I would have said yesterday as well in terms of the full driving that I'm really keen to bring the boys down to do some of the tracks and uh, you know and, and really give those a go. I think there's a couple that yeah it would be better to have another vehicle with you just in case. So um, yeah, noted those on the list and um, they'll be coming in the future. Um, yeah, that's about it, guys. Um, hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, I think as Kate might have said in the early part of the video, if I can remember uh, correctly, we were asking if you had any sort of suggestions for future locations or ideas as well. Um, please drop those in the comments. We'd love, love to hear your thoughts. And um, yeah, we'll see you in the next video. Why are you sucker? What are you doing? <laughs> this is not for sleeping in. <laughs> Here goes your one. <laughs> It does look pretty comfy though to be fair.